Hi guys, welcome to Legend Law. I'm Maka and we're bringing the Adeptus Custodes as the Solar Watch. Today's list, we're doing another old school arc mission, so we're bringing 1350 points in a patrol detachment. For the HQ, we've got a shield captain. They have the Sally Forth upgrade, which allows them to charge after advancing. They've also got the relic, the Swift Silver Talon, which allows them to shoot after falling back or advancing. In the troop slot, we've got four separate units of custodian guards. We've got a unit with three shields and blades, another unit with three shields and blades, a unit with two spears and a shield and blade, and another unit with two spears and a shield and blade. For the elites, we've got a Contemptor Achilles Dreadnought. He's got the Dreadnought Laz Spear and two Twin Adthratic Destructors. We've got a Contemptor Galatus Dreadnought with the sword and board. He's got the Eternal Penitent upgrade, which gives him plus one attack and re-rolling charges. We've got an old school buddy. It's the Venerable Contemptor Dreadnought. He's taking the Carey's Pattern Assault Cannon. And to round out the elite slot, we've got a Vexillus Praetor with a Presidium Shield and the Vexilla Defensor, which gives dense cover in an aura around him. All up, that's 1330 points of golden banana goodness. G'day guys, it's Chris, and today I'm playing the Toaster Boys. It's Admech. Okay guys, so I've got 1350 points of primarily Cult Mechanicus here, which is really awesome, bar a few transports. Uh, running the Riser Detachment again, which is awesome because they punch really hard. So for those of you who don't know Riser, Riser's dogma is they allow the entire army to reroll charges and I can also get plus one to wound for all of my melee attacks when I charge, was charged or heroically intervene, which is nice and cool. Heading up the Vanguard Detachment, my only HQ today is the Tech Priest Dominus. I've given her the Peter Cog Tooth Relic uh, Axe just to give her a bit more extra punch. And her Warlord trait today is the Supervisory Radiance, which is uh, at the start of the fight phase, I can select a Cult Mechanicus core unit within nine, and uh, they can reroll all their hits in the fight phase. Apart from that, she just comes with the Volkite Blaster and her Macro Stubber. Now my only troops unit in the Vanguard Detachment is my Catafron Destroyers. Yes, I know they are a terrible unit. They're not core, they hit on fours, Ah, oh, gosh, GW. Um, but look, I just wanted to, uh, they've been sitting on the shelf for so long, guys, and I wanted to run them. They are some of my most favorite models in terms of their look and the way I've painted them. So I thought I'd get them on the table and see how they roll today. They all have plasmas and the phosphor blasters. Moving over to the meat and potatoes of the force, I've got uh, three elite units. First up is the Cybernetica Datasmith. Just comes stock standard with the Gamma Pistol and the Power Fist, uh, mainly there just to give my robots core. Then I have two 10-man units of Fulgrite Electro Priests. So these guys obviously don't have a shooting weapon, they're purely melee, which means that they work in a Rise of Forge World list very, very nicely. Speaking of punching very nicely, over in the heavy support, I have six robots, and that's uh, two squads with three robots in each. They all have the punchy fists, and they all have the flamers. And finishing up the list, we've got two in the dedicated transport slots, one Scorpius Dune Rider, and one Termite Drill. The Termite Drill has the flamers, the melter, and the drill your face drill. All up, that is 1350 points of ARC 40K goodness. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. King Zarkon has landed on the planet Aris, and the evil Skull Scavenger is rolling out the Skull Tank. Can Keith, Lance, and the rest of the crew stop them? Or will they have to call on Voltron, Defender of the Universe? Voltron, Defender of the Universe! Can they defeat Zarkon's evil powers? Will they check his forces in time? Is even the mighty Voltron great enough to triumph? You decide, but only with Voltron from Mattel. Figures and accessories sold separately. G'day everyone, welcome to Legends and Lore and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Battle Report. I'm Buzz and this is Maka. 
and we have the Admech versus Custodes today, a very special 1350 point uh, ARC mission. Uh, we've gone back into the archives and uh, we're playing some of our favorite ARC 40k missions and this is one of them. So thanks for joining us. Um, before we get into all the nitty gritty stuff of the mission, a couple of quick thank yous. Um, Gap Games up in Queensland, thank you to Brett and the team. 21% off all GW stuff and all their other miniature ranges. Um, we have an affiliate link in the description. Go check it out. You can help the channel and help yourself. Um, Game at EU also. Their lovely neoprene mats and some of their terrain that we use. Yeah, this is in... a new terrain. It is. Well, it? Yeah, it's not Game at one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is lovely. So thank you to them. And of course, our lovely patrons, mm -hmm. we uh, love all your support. We love your uh, your dedication to the channel and to us. Um, without you guys, we couldn't have, uh, well, we can't actually do this sort of stuff. So yeah. thank you uh, for everything that you do for us. Yeah. And also to everyone who watches, who likes yeah, and subscribes. You watching from home. <laughs> um, thank you so much. If you are, you know, if you want to just help the channel out, just give us a watch, give us a like, give us a sub. Um, that in itself actually does wonders for our channel. So thank you for very, very much. Um, yeah, so that's all the thank yous out the way, Maka. Yeah. What are we playing? So today I, I went to troll through the archives because it turns out that Arc 40K, and you can go and enjoy it as well, had their missions from, I think, 2007 onwards. Mm available on the website, which is great. So I was going through it and I was like, oh, this one looks nice, this one looks good. I kept coming back to one, it's called Pitch Black. And it's based on the movie Pitch Black, which you've never seen it. There's a sun and a planet and the sun's like, <laughs> giant radiation ball. But when nighttime hits, the monsters come out. Mm. And so we had a look at this and we thought we'll do a little bit of a mod to make it fit more of ninth edition. Yep. But basically, this is our battlefield. Oh, look at this lovely, lush, verdant green world. This is nice. <laughs> um, you may see over here that we have a purple line. This is nighttime encroaching. And it's going to move forward 12 inches every turn of the game. When you're inside the night zone, it, the whole thing counts as dense and it's minus one to hit. Otherwise, the way the mission's gonna work is we're gonna do old school style, whoops, as long as I'm not destroying the <laughs> infrastructure, is we each get to put down two objective markers. Yep. One's gonna go in our deployment zone, one's gotta go in no man's land. The special things for this particular mission and how we're modifying the tertiary objective is that you get three points on the tertiary objective if you hold more table quarters than your opponent. Mm. The special thing in this particular mission, which we're modding from it, is that the night line comes along and then once it reaches the end of the table at the end of the game, anyone who's not on a terrain feature, the horde of monsters come barreling in from the other end of the table and just eat everything. <laughs> Tanks, people, it's like, we're just gonna say there's special tyrannids or something, but yeah, yeah they just basically barrel along and so, Anyone that's not wholly on an area terrain feature, so, you know, the buildings up on some stuff, mm -hmm. clinging to the edge of a cliff or whatever, it's, it's just going to get eaten. And so every unit that's still alive at the end of the game is worth one point. <laughs> <laughs> just for a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, so as far as stuff today, we're going to be putting down the objectives, we're going to be rolling off for who goes first, um, and also we're going to be doing our third secondary is just going to be the Tempest of War, so there's a bit of variance and a bit, bit of fun. flex. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Alrighty, that's the mission. That's all the thank yous done, and uh, we will get back to you after deployment. This list today is a lot of foot slogging. Um, I really like playing Solar Watch. I find they're good. They kind of do what I want them to. I like getting into combat and not being stuck at the other side of the table, being shot a lot, so these work really well. Also, I just absolutely love the Contempt of Dreadnoughts. They don't benefit from the Carters at all, but that's okay, they're big, they're imposing, they look rad, and hopefully they're gonna stomp some robots. So, I am really pumped to run this Riser list. I kind of feel like Admech have become almost like a very hordish army in a way, with the amount of bodies that have been used with Skatari Rangers and Vanguard, and um, I quite like the this sort of elite riser list that I've got here. Very minimal units, uh, which matches Macca's custodies quite well. And it's got a lot of punch too. So it's gonna be easier to play, a lot of fun to play, and um, it can't be taken lightly because, uh, you know, these units can get up really quickly 
and they can do some serious hurt in melee, particularly with all the buffs that I got going on with my Forge World Riser. All right, gang, we are back. We have deployed. We're both kind of aggressive. I mean, Buzz has got most of his stuff in transports, which are just elsewhere at the moment. I mean, mm. the boat's over there and the tank's underground. So, yep. you know, we'll have a surprise later. Um, that being said, we're up to uh, rolling for the first time. We are. And the then drawing some Tempests. Yes. So, okay. You feeling lucky? No. <laughs> oh, wow, you're I guess I am. All right, it's the Admech up first. Okay. Um, so otherwise. before I get into that, so with my secondary uncharted sequencing, which is a purely admic um, specific one, mm -hmm. I get to nominate uh, an objective for each battle round. And if I'm holding it at the end of the battle round, I score my three points. So okay. um, assume it can't be your own. It can be my own. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's easy. <laughs> so it's, a, it's an obvious easy first round. So yeah. obviously I'm going for the uh, one in my own deployment zone at battle round one. Yep. Two three, four, and then five. five. Okay, <coughs> all right, so Admech turn one, coming up right next. Deploy Teleport Homer, so it's an action. So one unit from your army can start to perform this action at the end of your movement phase. If it's wholly within your opponent's deployment zone. Oh mm. gosh, okay. Can you bring in the uh, drill? Well, you can keep that. Correct. And use it next turn. And use it next turn, With yeah. the drill. Like, I don't have a lot of things, so if I move up, you can just be like, in the corner, and they'll be like, hey guys, guess what? Here's a teleport homer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we'll see how that one goes, but mm. um, all right, no dramas. All right, Let's... otherwise, I'm going to choose uh, my old favorite standard, which is Callistus. Mm -hmm. um, this is the special one for Solar Watch, so it means I get to roll an extra dice for advancing. Nice. Um, and I count as remaining stationary when I do it, so I can still shoot. All right, guys, so uh, Admech turn one movement phase is done. Um, just with the, I kind of skipped over the command phase a little bit, just with in terms of um, declaring my doctrinas and my um, canticles. Um, essentially, because I'm running basically major of cult mechanicus, um, the doctrinas don't really matter so much, but the um, the boat over here, the Dune Rider, is the only Skitari vehicle, apart from the uh, drill, which is underground. Um, so I'm giving that um, Bulwark, which will give it plus one to its save. Um, and similarly with the Cult Mechanicus stuff, which is everything else on the table, uh, I'm giving it Shroud Sum, which gives uh, essentially all my units light cover. So I think uh, the play here really is because I've pushed so aggressively with these melee um, units, I think I kind of think I need a, a bit of a bonus in my defense. Um, because I don't have a hell of a lot of shooting and Mac is going to come raging hard at me. So uh, hopefully I will uh, survive his first turn um, later on and then we can get uh, smash in face. So uh, yeah. I'm just going to do a slow look at the camera whenever you say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so starting off with the Dune Rider, I'm just going to put all of its little piddly shots into the custodian uh, squad there hiding behind the bushes. Mm -hmm. uh, minus one to hit because it's dense. Uh, so we're hitting on fours. Yep. Ooh, okay. A wood on fives. Fives. Uh, so we've got two. No negative. No neg. Two ups. Take hey! A, uh, take a wound. Take a wound. Take a wound. Dude, I want to CP that. Oh, get out of here, Maka. <laughs> Jesus. No, I'll take the wound. Uh, so none of the robots are in range here. Uh, but what is in range is the destroyers with their plasmas. Uh, I'm going to put all their plasma shots into this squad, custodian guard squad, just okay. in front of them. Uh, 3d6 shots with their plasmas. Uh, four, okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Now it's minus 1 because of the banner yep. that you've got. So these guys are actually hitting on 5s, which is a bit there. Uh, you got 2. 2 hits. You got 2. 
Uh, uh, was it? Yeah, it wasn't supercharging. Uh, just strength uh, seven, is it? Yeah. Seven, so threes. Threes, uh, one wound. All got the shields, which don't give them a four up invuln anymore. So, uh, three up, so it's a four up. Yep, go for it. Set Yay, five. lovely. I think there'll be a lot of that this game. <laughs> <laughs> give it a crack. Yes, so moving on to the charge phase. Uh, Forge World Riser, luckily enough, gets plus one to the charge, which is mm. great. Uh, let's start off here. So this squad of robots are going to go into this Custodian Guard squad. Right. Give me a 10. Do you want to re-roll it? Ooh, it's a five. Dun, 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 dun. All right, spending a CP to re-roll. Needing a 10 here, guys. I hope you make it. Me too. Oh, oh. bugger. Okay. No the worries. other squad with a 10 as well. A 10 as well, yep. Into the Dreadnought. Ooh, oh, oh okay. shame. No worries. All right, so that's mm. the end of the turn for Admech. Um, mm. Working on my secondary over here with the Uncharted Sequencing. Yep. I have to hold it at the end of the battle round. Uh, engage, I am in just two quarters at the moment. Yep. Over cool. to Custodes. Custodes. So my Carter means I roll an additional D6 and choose the highest. I'm advancing. Oh, wonderful. Um, so, we're going to move into the movement phase and get a couple of advances out. So, mm. I have drawn Battlefield Supremacy. This basically means at the end of my turn, if I control three or more objective markers and more than the opponent, I score five points for this one. At the end of the movement phase, my Warlord uses Sally Forth, which he declares something to be able to advance and charge. He can already do it for himself, so he's going to declare the Sword and Board Squad directly in front of him um, to be able to do that when we come along to the fight phase. Sword and Board Fellows on the left-hand side of the Guard Squad on the left. Mm -hmm. Two of them are in range of the Cataphrons, are they? Robots, the Castellans. Castellans. Castellans in the middle of the table. Yep. Um, so it's two shots per... Custode, and they count as many stationary, so they still hit on twos. So, hitting on twos. All of them. Oh, no, let's drop one. Um, and they are strength four, toughness seven? Seven. Seven. So wounding on fives. Nothing. Nada. That's right. That was expected. I should have done this in my movement phase, but you care if I do it now? No. Wisdom of the Ancients. So, That's right. I'm going to do Wisdom of the Ancients, um, which allows me to either put a Captain or Lieutenant reroll, so to hit or to wound on a Dreadnought, and I'm going to choose the... One in the middle of the table, the Achilles, two re-roll, hit rolls of one. Great. Thank you, by the way. It's all right. That's one CP. Um, okay, so the sword and board in the middle of the table, shooting the Pastelins on twos, re-rolling ones. Lovely. Wound you on fives. One, two, three, four. Ooh. No, three go through. Three? Three go through at AP one for two damage. Okay, so with the Shroud Sum, so I negate that, so it's back yep. to two ups. Cool. Oh, oh okay. take two damage. Take two damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next Sword and Board Squad is just going to um, try and knock off a couple of extra wounds on those robots. Sure. So, same deal. Hitting on twos, we're rolling ones, and wounding on fives. Three two ups. Hey, Lovely. good job. Venerable Contemptor to just punch everything into the Dune bottom, Rider. The Dune yep. Rider on the side. Threes. Cool, drop two. Good job. Threes. All right, three go through at AP one for one damage. Yep, so back to three up with yep. um, Bulwark. Take one. Yep, take one. And then there's a Storm Bolter. Same deal on threes, one hit. And we're on a five, nothing. Yep. Cool. All right, let's get into some other stuff. So my Warlord, Mm -hmm. um, is going to fire into the robots sure. as well. So two shots on twos, when you're on fives, one goes through. Uh, AP is two for two damage. Okay, threes. 
Hey, stay Kicked tuned. another one. Very good. Yep. Spear squad on the tower. Mm -hmm. We're going to be shooting the Castellans. No worries. So four shots. Three hits. Wounding on fives. Two wounds. Two ups. Oh, come on, robots. <laughs> I've done more damage in the shooting phase than I expected <laughs> to. All right. Down to three. The Galatas is just going to put the Heavy Flamer into that same squad. Nice. So, 2d6 auto hits. Five. Uh, strength is six. Toughness seven, yeah? Yep. So, five to wound. Two at AP1, which you ignore, so two two up saves. Oh, get <laughs> real! It's only one damage. <laughs> uh, Contempt of Killers to shoot the robots in the middle of the table because I can't actually target the ones on the backfield. So we'll start with the Lad Spear. So it's hitting on twos, re-rolling ones because of Wisdom of the Ancients. Re-rolling ones. Cool, two hits. Uh, strength is eight, so I'm wounding on threes. Oh. AP is two, which becomes one, so you're yep. saving on threes. Oof. Damage. Do you want to re-roll that? It's d6. Um, that's pretty much the end of your shooting, right? He's got two more. He's got two more. Um, come on, four. Mm, sure. Hey! Cool. And then four shots with the athletic destructors. So hitting on twos, are you rolling? Cool. Strength is five, so I'm wounding on fives. Mm -hmm. Nada. Nothing. Okay, so um, we're gonna get some charging in. You okay, ready? yeah, go for it. Cool. I'm gonna start with the Contemptor Achilles um, because it's got the most chance of being able to thump you. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the fight phase, I am also going to spend a CP on Wisdom of the Moratoria again. And we're going to have re-rolls of one to wound here instead. Nice. Five attacks, heading on twos, no re-rolls. Yep, go for it. They will hit. Strength is seven times two, which is 14. So I'm wounding you on twos, twos. re-rolling ones. Reroll. Lovely. Cool. Uh, it's minus three for D3 plus three damage each. Lovely. <laughs> um, so, uh, I've got f two up save. Shroud's yep. up. Well, Shroud's up doesn't affect so it's light cover. So it's so just five ups. Fives, yep. Five ups. Oh, one. nice. Two, good so job. So two D3. Yep, so it's got to go in the injured one. Mm -hmm. So it's already taken, do these have minus one damage? No. No? Okay, so um, if I roll a Three plus, it's destroyed. That's enough, that's yep. six damage. Cool. Does it explode? It does explode on a six. Oh. And this time. And the next one takes six damage as well. So that one's down to one. Do you want to interrupt? I sure do, sure macaroni. Do. You sure do? Okay. I sure do do. Where are your attacks going? Right, so I've interrupted for two. I'm gonna spend a CP on this squad also uh, mm -hmm. to change their protocol. So essentially puts him in the punchy protocol. Uh, that'll change their weapon school from a four up to a two up. Um, uh, yeah, so. Okay. Mac, are you running something? Yes. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna spend one CP on Presidium Shield Wall. As long as the unit is entirely got Presidium Shields in it, they now have a minus one to hit. And I'm gonna spend another CP on Arcane Genetic Alchemy, which you can only win them on a four plus. Yep. All right, so let's do the uh, two robots into the Custodian Guard Squad first. Yep. Uh, so they're minus one to hit now, correct? Yep, so hitting so on threes. Hitting on threes. Uh, that worked okay, out. That's pretty worked good. Out. Then winning on fours. Winning on fours with your Custody Trans Woundman. Uh, oh, okay. Bad. Five went through. Five. Three damage. Correct. So everyone's a dead one. Four plus. I will spend my last CP because I want, really want this squad to survive because. They have optic. Okay. So four plus. Nice. Four plus. Oh, Maka. Four plus. Oh. Four plus. It's the fact oh. that I call it out that makes it worse. And four plus. Oh. Right. <laughs> 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 
a lot of people people bring me up on that. They're like, ah, oh, the scum. He rolled them one at a time. I mean, it's what you're supposed to do, but is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. No, I'm out of CP though. So. Oh, okay. That's yeah. That's. I can't reroll saves on the warlord if you happen to splat him. So remind me again, warlord minus, minus one to hit because he's got the radiant mantle, which makes him um, oh so shiny. Yes, and minus one to wound. No. Okay. Okay. So hitting on threes with the captain. Dropped one. Dropped one. And wounding on twos with a plus mm -hmm. one from Riser. Uh, yep, so it's four, minus three on your invon. Okay, to the invon. Four ups again. To the invon! If he fails two, he dies. So, four up. Oh, I'm four about to swear, up. Maka. I'm really about to swear. <laughs> okay. Three. I can't re-roll this. I can't re-roll this. So this is if he makes it or not. Yay. Ah, Yay. splattered. All right, Warlord. Squished. Start, we'll go back to the other squad, see what I can destroy, and we'll work our way across. Yeah, sure, go for it. So, it's three attacks per buddy. Mm -hmm. um, hitting on twos, no rerolls. Dropped three. And then strength is plus one, so it's six. Mm -hmm. um, so, when you on fives, rerolling ones. One. Nice. One goes through at minus three for... Two damage. Father. Hey! Nice job. Bonza. All right. Um, we're going to go over to the Contemptor Galatus. So he gets D3 extra attacks because of his sword and plus one because of Eternal Penitent. So it's plus three, so it's the full nine. Fabulous. Hitting on twos, no rerolls anymore. Dropped one. And strength is seven, so I'm wounding on fours. Mm hmm. One, two. Only two. Minus three. Two sixes there for the Kessel and Robots. Ooh. One. Failed it. Flat three damage. Flat three, so that one dies. Does he explode? He does not. The guard. On twos. Drop three of them. And winning on fives. Two. Two at minus three for two damage piece, so sixes. Mm-hmm. Nope. No, four damage. Yep, cool. Down to three. Oh, good. Um, and then last up, we've got the Venerable Contempt of Dreadnought over the other side of the table. Oh, yes, against the boat. Against the boat. So, hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. Drop one. Uh, strength is seven times two, which is 14. So, mm -hmm. twos. Yep. All right, so with Bulwark, that's a five up for the Doom Rider. Hey! Make two, take six damage. Six, okay. So, down to five. Mm hmm. So, punching back now for Admech. Uh, gonna do these two robots here. Okay, so I'm gonna put all my attacks into this Custodian uh, Guard Squad. Uh, the play here, guys, obviously, you just wanna try and get rid of those three um, obsec units, and then I'll be holding that objective. Yep. Now, these aren't in the melee profile, are they? They're, They're not, yep. correct. So, they'll be hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. do, they have a, do they have a minus one to hit? No. No, okay, fours. Uh, well, not bad, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Yep, so winning on twos with the plus one, Riser. Drop uh, one. Drop one, so that's uh, five, minus three, three damage. Alright, gonna roll them all at once. Oh, drop one. Oh, yep. One dies. Lovely. So, D3 attacks from the Dune, Dune Rider. Two. Uh, Six as I assume. Yeah. Oh, nada. Okay, cool. Um, now, nothing needs to do morale. No. Which makes this easy. So, how do you feel that round went? Oh, look. I oh, actually, let's see if I scored anything. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's do a uh, points. Yep. Okay, so scoring at the end of that round, um, for the tertiary of being in more quarters, the custodes are, so they get three points for that. Um, Buzz got three points for uncharted sequencing, and that was it, so just get three points for the round. I got three for Stand Vigil, which is holding more neutral, two for Engage on all fronts, because I'm in three quarters, and five for my Tempest. So that brings Custos up to 13, and Admech up to three. Yes, yes, so I might spend my CP again to uh, redraw, because overwhelming firepower with um, a lot of melee units is not uh, no. <laughs> is not ideal. So <laughs> I'm gonna redraw, and I got behind enemy lines. Okay, good for you. Yeah. yeah. It's gotta be two units, and one of them's the drill. You're sorted. Okay, guess what I got? Behind enemy lines. Hey, here we go. <laughs> so we're, we're just up in each other's crib. Okay. 
All right, so apart from that, guys, uh, for primary, I am sitting on just the one objective here because Maka uh, has OPSEC on all of his units and yep. is outscoring me. There's only five on the table, so you get four points for your yep. primary. So just four. And uh, we're going to go straight into movement and be right back. All right, guys, so we're back from uh, turn two movement for the ADMEC. Um, just quickly before we get into my movement, we, as you notice on the top camera, we've actually shifted the uh, nighttime light uh, as best as I could. It kind of looks a bit wonky, but nonetheless, it's uh, moved another 12 inches yeah. <laughs> along. 19 um, crouches. It's, yeah, <laughs> those spooky monsters are coming quite fast. Mm. Um, all right, so movement, uh, the robots have sort of stayed in melee. I've just shifted up this uh, data smith and healed a wound on uh, this squad of castle and robots. Over here, the Dune Rider pulled back out of combat with the Dreadnought and uh, the first squad of the Electro Piece have popped Got out. Got out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of the way. Um, just hoping to pull a charge off there and uh, cause, some, uh, cause some harm over onto that Dreadnought. Um, the Cataphrons over here are just uh, babysitting this uh, home objective. Uh, just going to pick out some targets with its plasma and uh, in Maka's deployment zone there I've got my drill and out came the Tech Priest Dominus and the other squad of Electro Priests So that of course will net me my behind enemy lines mm. uh, And also will uh, top up some of my engage points too So let's go on to shooting Start off in the shooting phase with these Cataphron Destroyers I'm going to put everything into this Custodian Guard Squad in the mm -hmm. in front of them uh, minus one to hit because of the banner. Correct. So fives again. Also, I uh, forgot to pick my canticles and my doctrinas again. I kind of keep skipping my command phase, so apologies about that. I'm going to pick the one that gives me three D6, pick the two highest on the charge. Okay, and for my doctrinas, I'm actually going to go plus one ballistic skill um, because, in fact, the uh, drill, the Terax Termite drill, oh, is Skatari. Okay, yeah. lovely. Now, it does mean that it'll um, get a minus in its weapon skill. But I've got melters and I've got flamers on that um, drill, so I kind of need that. I was about to say, oh no, and roll my eyes, but then I remembered, oh yeah, it's a giant drill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into shooting. Um, also, I forgot to say earlier, I've got to change my carter at the beginning of the battle round. Yep. So I am switching to, at least I think it's the beginning of the battle round. So yep. I'll just do it here. So sure. I'm switching to Rendax. Um, I'm going to choose the first one, which is when I'm attacking vehicles and monsters in melee. Six is to hit, auto wound. Ooh, lovely. Well, that's uh, quite relevant. Hmm. Cataphron destroyers. Plasmas into the squad of Custodian Guard holding that objective. Uh, not overcharging the plasmas. Yep, so fives to hit. Uh, so, well, first 3d6. Oh, yep. Shots. Uh, 13. So, uh, hitting on fives. Hitting on fives with the, uh, with the minus. Threes. Uh, three. three wounds. AP three, I assume. Yep. So either way, it's four up in bomb on all of them. So whoop. Oh, Maka. I am making the saves. Oh. I am making the saves. I'm making the saves. <laughs> Thanks, Banana. <laughs> Woo. Now your gun bots can shoot in combat, can't they? They can. Because they're not blast. They can a Rooney, and mm. they're going to shoot everything into those custodian guard. So 2d6 flamers, uh, nine. Nice. Yeah, winning on fours with these flamers. Ooh, uh, five. five. All right, so they're AP one for a heavy flamer. Oh, uh, these are minus two, sorry. Minus two, okay. Yeah. So I've got a Presidium Shield, which is mm -hmm. plus one AP. Yep. Um, so your AP one brings me to a three up save. Go for it. They take a wound. <laughs> Takes one. Uh, okay, we'll move over to the next uh, two robots with their flamers. Into, shooting the same thing? Yeah, shooting it into the custodian guard. Uh, eight. Nice. Again. And uh, winning on threes. Mm. No, fours. Fours, sorry. Three, four, five. Five wounds, minus two. Uh, same deal. Yeah, it's a bit two better. Wounds. So, any of them injured? No, nope. one's down to one wound. Okay. Okay, let's move over to the drill mm. of death. Uh, everything 
into the Custodian Guard Squad. So that's the Melter and the Flamer. Cool. Um, so it's minus one because they're in nighttime. Yes. Plus one because you... My Doctrina. Doctrina. I doctrinaed them. Uh, so the Melter is five shots. So hitting on the threes. Threes, yeah. Drop one. Yep. Uh, wounding on threes with the Melter. Yep, so strength eight. Ooh, four wounds, Maka. All right, so I have to take them on the shield. The shield is plus two to my save. Okay. Because it's plus one, plus one for cover. Yep. So either way, I'm saving on fours. Mm, yep. With everybody, because we've yeah. got bonds. So That's true. Oh. Drop one. My gosh. Don't roll a one. Cool, six damage. <laughs> He's very dead. <laughs> However, it does make your charge harder. That's true. It does make your That's charge true. harder. Uh, let's go the flamers. So it's a D6. Five. Right. I assume it's a heavy flamer? Uh, yeah, so this is strength five minus one to one damage. Yeah. So winning on fours. That's two. two. Uh, with cover, saving on twos. Show me some ones. Yes, please. Took a wound, sir. So the Volkite Blaster from the Tech Priest Dominus into the Custodian Guards in the tower. So she's hitting on a three. That's two hits. And this is strength six, so threes. threes. That's two wounds. Why well, sixes do something? Wound rolls of six inflict two mortal wounds. And the attack sequence ends? Or In addition mean... to any normal damage. Okay, so there'll be two mortal wounds, which they suck up none of them and one of the guys dies. And then, uh, what's the AP? It is my, no AP. No AP. No AP. Two up save. Great. Charge. Charge face. All right, so we'll start over here with the Electro Priest uh, fighting the Custodian Guard there on the tower. First of all, Electro Priest, um, after they've completed a successful charge, they get to roll a d6, and on a six plus, uh, they suffer a mortal wound, the Custodian Guard. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen, uh, but no. that's okay. That's fine. Electrocute the tower. So, um, with fighting vertically and how many models we've got in range, um, we only one Electro one. Priest. But Can hey, you tag me in combat. So. Yeah. Uh, hitting on a three. That's two hits. Mm. Force to wound. Strength five. No Ooh. wounds. Oh, sorry. Plus one to wound because of rise up. Yeah, so yep. two wounds. So two wounds. AP. Uh, minus two. Yeah, and that's not heavy cover, so save you on fours. Save one, fair one. Take a wound. Uh, it's two damage. Two damage, down to one. I am going to spend one CP to do the Custodes interrupt stratagem. I am going to choose... Um, the Dreadnought with the sword and board. Sure. Um, to do the interrupt for the one CP. Okay. Contemptor Achilles gets D3 extra attacks for the sword, which is one. Yep. So it gets seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, hitting on twos. And it doesn't get carters, so sixes don't affect it at all. So mm -hmm. strength seven, it's wounding on fours. Nice. Two. Two at minus three. Uh, they're in the... Fighty protocol. Fighty protocol, so it's sixes. Sixes? No. no. Six damage. Okay, so that one on four wounds. Does that blow? It, it does. does. <laughs> That's actually worse for me, but yeah. just D3 damage to everyone there. Okay. Including, I think... No, it's just out of range of your... Um, Data Smith? Data Smith. Okay. So let's do the Custodian Guard. They take... One. Yes, they do. Yep. Kills one of them. The Dreadnought takes three. Um, yep, takes three. Um, the rest of your charges. Yeah, so let's move over to uh, the squad of Electro Priests against the Dreadnought. So 10d6 on the charge for the Electro Priests. Mm -hmm. Any sixes is a mortal wound. Uh, Two, three. three. All right, do I suck them up? No, takes three. Great. So he's down to six. All right, so 20 attacks. Electro Priest hitting on threes. Nice. And winning on fours with the plus one. Sixes do two mortal wounds. Oh, get out of town. Two mortal wounds and that's it. Oh, no, no. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, horrible. Two mortal wounds and two saves. Any AP on this? 
Minus two, Maka. <laughs> um, four is the save. Fail both those. What's the damage on it? Two, two each. Which becomes one. Yep. So that's two damage. Plus and the then two, mortal, two wounds. mortal wounds. Six up, feel no pains. Nothing. Takes four. Takes another four. Yep. So it's down to two. Um, since that's all the fight's first sections, mm -hmm. we're going to have the Contemptor Achilles get crumping in the middle of the table before you get to crump on me. Him, you on twos with no rerolls. Ooh, drop two of them. And wounding you on twos. All of them wound. Um, these are still in the Aegis profile? Correct. So two up. So two up, minus three, so five up saves. And how many was that, sorry? Three. All right, so three five up saves. Oh, get None out of here. None of them. So one's dead from the first hit. So does that first one blow up? No, it doesn't. And then the next one takes six, seven, eight, nine damage. So that one is also dead. Does that second one blow up? No. no. Woo! Good job. Uh, so we went out of sequence a bit. I forgot to actually do the, uh, the Data Smith. It won't change anything. But the Data Smith is going to punch the Custodian Guard there. Mm -hmm. uh, two attacks with a Power Fist, hitting on fours, because it's a Power Fist. Two hits. Two hits. Uh, strength six. So, so threes. threes. Oh, twos actually, with the plus one. Yes, because you charged. Yep. Jeez, that's good. That all of a sudden turns Admech into something really yeah. quite good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, two wounds. Three, so, four up in bonds. Yep. No. Failed both. Two damage a piece. Three damage each, sir. Three damage each. Two damage each, sir. Two damage each, yeah, from power <laughs> fish. All right, so one dies and yep. one is on one wound. Nice. Let's see how he goes. Go Twos. For it. Looking for sixes. No sixes, but they all hit. Sure. Wounding on fives. Yep. Nada. Nada. Okay, can't quite pop the other dreadnought. That's, well, robot. Oh, I've still got other stuff to fight, though. <laughs> All right, um, let's go for Princess in the Tower, shall we? <laughs> sure. On twos, one miss. Um, strength seven, so it's wounding you on twos. Yep. Yep. And then it's minus three, four, two damage a piece. Right. Yep. So five up involved? Yep. Nope. nope. And damage? Uh, two a piece. Two a piece. So the first one? Dead. Ah, Not dead. Only correct. one. One dead. Right, and then the other Dreadnought yes. against the other Electro Priests. So, uh, five attacks. Drop one. Winning on twos. Drop one. So, three five up saves. Okay, so three five ups. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's problematic. Hi ha! Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, go for it. Five attacks with my robot. Okay. Getting that opposite guy out of here, Maka. So in terms of points, so I got two points for engage on all fronts here, just missing uh, this quarter over there. Um, I actually did score my Tempest five point card uh, mm. for being behind enemy lines with uh, those units in Macca's deployment zone. And Uncharted Sequencing, I'm working on it at the moment with this uh, uh, robot and the data smith. Mm. Hopefully I can hold it uh, at the end of the round and that'll net me another three points. Yeah. Uh, over to Custodes, turn two. Yeah, so. I get a CP. You get a CP. Alright, so I am currently on one, two. Are you Electro Priest OPSEC? No. So I'm on three objectives, so I yep. do get the full 12 there. Mm So um, I've left the princess in the tower on the tower, but hopefully some heroic knights will come along and punch those electro priests pretty hard. Um, my venerable dreadnought is stuck in combat, so he's not going anywhere. I've fallen back the contemptor Achilles because he can still shoot after falling back. Sorry, the contemptor Galatas. Contemptor Achilles has come around to try and knock Buzz off that objective. My vexillated banner is holding this objective over here. And these three guards are going to go and try and take that objective at the back of the table. So, fill in the lack of bodies. Fill in the lack of bodies, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Yep. Um, I'm going to start with the 
Venerable Dreadnought into the Electro Priests. All right, so six shots with the Carries Assault Cannon. It's heavy, so it's minus one to combat. So he's hitting on threes. Nice. Oh, good roll. And strength seven, so I'm winning on twos. Mm -hmm. Cool, everything. So five saves at minus one. Five, five up, feel no, uh, five Invulnerables. in runs. Oh, I've made three, again, nice. Yes. And then two five up, feel no pains. First one, dead. No, it's only one damage. Oh, okay. So just two dead. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got the Storm Bolter. So this is minus one to hit because it's night time and everyone's poor little eyes. So hitting on threes, they all hit. Mm -hmm. What's their toughness, three or four? Three. Three, so winning on threes. All of them. Good rolling, Maka. Uh, no AP. Still a five up. And Three. one damage. One damage piece. Five up, feel no pains. Yep. Lose another two, two, so four total. Yep. Let's move on to the Contemptor Achilles. So I'm just going to put everything into your... Castellan. Castellan. So um, I am shooting into night time, so it's minus one. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the last spear on threes. Two hits. Strength eight, so I'm wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Um, that one is not in the Aegis profile, so you're saving on sixes. Mm -hmm. oh. Make one. One damage. I will CP that. You're one and only? Sure. Yep. Six. Oh, good job. <laughs> Gosh. Does it explode? Please do. No. <sighs> Trust me to roll a one. <laughs> that, was, that was a good turnaround. That yeah. was a good turnaround. You take that. <laughs> Jesus. Contempt of Galantis is just going to put the double flamer into your data smith then. So, 2d6, six hits. Tough as four, strength six, so I'm wounding on threes. Uh, drop two, so four at AP one. He's got a two up save. Oh, well, Dana nice, smith. so three ups. Yeah. Oh, There's your sixes. There <laughs> All right. Thank you, data smith. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to get the two custodes in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. Custodies. Everyone keeps bringing me up for that, sorry. Um, I can't shoot these guys, which I wanted to, but I didn't fall back out of combat. So they're also gonna shoot the data smith. So gun blades hitting on threes. They all hit, no, one misses. Minus one. Yep, and toughness four, so wounding on fours. Two, two at AP one, three up saves. Three ups. Here we oh, go, come on dice, yes. Right. Yes. Um, and then the Custodes on this side of the table. I already measured it, only two are in range. Sure. So, four shots, hitting on twos. Yep. All hit. What's their toughness? T5. T5, so wounding on fives. Two. Um, I should have checked six is the hit auto wound, which I wasn't checking. So oh. two go through. Yep. At minus one for two damage. Yep, so it's a four up save. Two damage. Uh, one down to one. Okay, time for charges. fight phase. Sure. And I'm going to start with the custos that came in to take this back objective. We're hitting you on twos. Oh, drop two. And I'm wounding you on twos. Drop two again. Oh, Ugh. Maka. Oh, melee's not gone so good. Uh, five up in bombs. Five up in bomb. Make one. Two damage. Two damage. Five ups. Ooh. I killed one. Killed one. <laughs> okay. <sighs> The Emperor's Finest! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Contentor Achilles gets five attacks. Yep. On twos. Drop two. Definitely wounding on twos. Drop one. So two saves. Do they have an inbomb? No. no. <laughs> okay, he's very dead. He's very dead. <laughs> All right, so it's my turn to start... Uh throw on some punches, and I'm actually gonna start over here with the Electro Priest up against that uh, Dreadnought. 12 attacks, uh, threes. Winning on fives, sixes do two mortal wounds, that's four, four mortal, mortal wounds. wounds. All right, all right, and better. He's only it. got two wounds left, I've gotta roll three sixes here. <laughs> Come on, Maka, please. Yay! Does it explode? It does not, it very much doesn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> so that now activates their four up invun for that squad after killing yep. a unit. Um, and then Your Princess turn. in the tower. Yes, gets to fight. So hitting on twos. 
Dropped one. Wounding on twos. Two of them. Two five ups. Oh. Two down to piece, so first one. Oh, almost. Second one. Oh, almost. Nope. All right, lose two. Which two do you want to lose? Ah, uh, just the back. It's fine. That one. Cool. So one can attack the one in the tower. Mm -hmm. Five can attack the other squad. All right. So let's do the uh, one priest into the uh, custodian in the tower first. See if I can knock him off. Not my princess. Oh, one hit. here we go. Uh, strength five, so fours. Oh, it's two mortal wounds, Maka. <laughs> oh, you're doing good on those sixes with these ones. Come on. Oh, oh yes. they've only got one wound left. That was so close, and I have no CP to reroll it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Down he goes. So that also activates this squad's four up in Vun now. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 attacks into the other squad. Threes. Threes. No Three. sixes there. AP2, two damage. Becomes AP1 because of the shield. Sure. So I should be taking them on threes. Okay. Oh. Drop three. Two damage um, a piece. Yeah, so one's dead and one's on one wound. Gosh, I'm dropping a bunch of saves. Dropping a bunch of saves. Wow, you did bloody save so many yeah, four ups and four. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> I am in three table quarters. You are in three table quarters. So we're. I don't get the tertiary. Stand Vigil, I am holding more neutral objectives than you are, so I get three for Stand Vigil. Engage on all fronts, I'm currently in two quarters, so three quarters, so I get two points. And Tempest, I didn't get behind enemy lines because I haven't quite got enough units that are in your zone, so I don't get my Tempest points there. Um, so at the end, I got five points and 12 on the primary. All right, guys, so battle round three, Admech, turn. Uh... We both got up a CP. Mm. Ding! Another Tempest card. Right, guys, so I got Area Denial. <laughs> not a good one for you. So, which means I need to have a, a unit 12 inches within the center, and there's a whole lot of grassy, empty land in that area. Um, so I think I'm gonna spend a CP to redraw. So I'll just use that CP that I got, so it leaves me on one. So I've drawn Extend Battle Line, so effectively, I've got to hold my home objective, which I'm currently doing with my destroyers, yep. but I've also got to uh, control a, an objective in no man's land here. So it could be possible here on this flank with the Electro Priests mm. coming in to do some work potentially. We'll see how we go. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not gonna change my objective. I'm gonna keep behind enemy lines because that's easy for me to get. So with my Canticles and Doctrinas, I'm actually not gonna pick one for, for the Skitara units because um, the um, negatives are not really fun <laughs> uh, for me and uh, they will not do well in shooting so just going to hold off on there with the cult mechanicus stuff i will use the one that gives me a free reroll in the hit wound and damage i believe so yeah on to movement um so my card i'm going to change do my last change yep um i'm going to switch to salvus mm -hmm. and just to see if i can pull it off Got two choices here. I can either add an extra four inches of range, which I think will come in more handy, or I can have auric weapons shoot twice, which is my gun blades. Mm. But I don't think I've got enough gun blades left to make it worthwhile. So I'm going to choose the extra four inches of range because I think being able to hit you from a little further out might come in handy. Okay, nice one. And as far as primary goes, I'm <coughs> holding uh, still just the one here because you're still OPSEC. Yes. Over there. So just scoring four. four. Alright guys, so movement phase is done for Admech. Um, the night line has also moved into the almost uh, last uh, third of the table. Um, so that's going to be interesting for shooting. <laughs> but basically, um, so what I've done here with the destroyers is just push them up a little bit, just to kind of uh, block this road a little bit from Macca's guard coming through, just to protect that home objective. Uh, the plasmas ha haven't been doing too well uh, this turn, but uh, if I can uh, shoot one or two and then maybe kill one off in uh, melee, that'll be handy. Uh, and over this side, I've left the uh, Dune Rider just there. It's netting me some engage points. Hopefully I can pepper 
you know, this dreadnought over here with some shots. Um, and then the drill and the uh, Electro Priest have just come around this corner and we're gonna put some pressure on this uh, dreadnought who's sitting on the objective over here. Uh, and also the Tech Priest Dominus has also moved up to assist with the Electro Priests in melee and mm -hmm. offer some rerolls. Um, so let's go on to shooting. So let's start off here with the Dune Rider. Just gonna put everything into this Dreadnought over here. Uh, hitting on fives, because it's night time. Uh, so three, four, five hits. Mm -hmm. Strength of four? Yeah, strength of so four. fives. Oh, three two. wounds. No neg. AP two. Sorry, save a two. It takes a Yay, wound, but wound. takes a wound anyway. Down to five. Down to five. All right, so moving on to the destroyers here. They're gonna put everything on the line into the custody guard in front of them. Cool, minus one hit because the banner. Yep, so 3d6 first, plasma. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna spend a CP here on Arcane Genetic Alchemy on these guys, only one because there's only three in the squad. I really need these guys to survive to get that objective and to get into your back line. Sure. So uh, I'm just gonna spend a CP here and see how we go. So you don't need one more fours. Okay. And I get one free reroll because of my canticle. Okay. okay, wounding on fours. Yep. Uh, cool, that's four wounds. Okay, I can do that alchemy. So I get to re-roll a wound roll as well. Is it a hit and a wound roll? Hit, or just wound, a hit? and a damage. Four up in bones. Oh. Uh, one dies and one's on one wound. Cool. Okay, let's go over to the drill. Into the Achilles. Into the Achilles here. Let's do anything in range. So the Ooh. melters and the flamers going in there. Five shots with the melter on... Uh, fours. Fours. Oh, only two. Two. Okay, cool. It's a Guitari, so it doesn't get the reroll here. Yep. Uh, three's the wound. Two wounds. Five up in bomb. Yep. Oh. And at this range, are you within six? Hmm. Yes. So D6 plus two, so it's just D6 plus one. Yep. Each. So. Oh, God. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five damage. Feel no pains? Oh, he oh. sucks up two. He's only taking three. Okay. My boy. D6 flamer. Two. Two. On fives. One, One. wound. Ah, <sighs> three up save. Hey. Does he suck it up? No. Takes another one. Hmm. Down to five. Okay, let's do the Volkite Blaster from the Dominus into the Dreadnought. Hitting Minus on one, so threes. threes. That's three hits. Strength? Uh, strength is six. So fives. Fives. Uh, that is two mortal wounds in addition. And it's uh, no neg. No two neg. damage. So two up. Okay. Does he suck up the mortal wounds? No. So you're down to three. Okay, let's do some charges. All right, guys, uh, let's start off with the drill. So Maka can't interrupt, so I'm just gonna try the drill first. Yep. Um, and see if we can knock off that Dreadnought. Three attacks, mm. uh, we're hitting on threes. Threes, go for it. Oh. Drop two. Okay, I'm spending my CP here to re-roll that. All right. Two hits. Two hits. Strength 14, wounding on twos. Wounding on twos. Okay. Two wounds. Minus four. So five up in bomb. No, oh, neither. It's so that's it's ten damage plus two d three. <laughs> no, it's actually because I got minus one damage. Oh yeah, four, minus six, one damage. Eight, ten. Yeah. Plus two d three. Plus two d three. I'm gonna roll for it. Plus another three. All right, lucky for sixes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's very yeah. dead. Uh, Tech priest Dominus next into the guard mm. with the relic axe, uh, hitting on threes. Oh, come oh. on now. Yay! <laughs> come on now, pink dice. Hmm. Uh, well, it looks like it's just going to have to be those Electro Priests then, I guess. Uh, you've got your, your... Oh, my bots. Your gun buddies first. Go for All it. All right, so Cataphron destroys next into the guard. 
Three tacks per. Uh, hitting on fours. So fours to wound. Fours to wound. Yeah. Twos. Hey! <laughs> that was horrible. Okay, so I lose a guy. One damage each. And another one's down to two. Oh, that's problematic. So that's all the charge units. You yeah. get to fight over there. With my one custodian guard. He's going to go into the Electro Priest, just to see if he can survive. Sure. So, uh, hitting on twos. All hit. Winning on twos. Still dropped one. Yes, two four up in ones. Made one and two damage. And two five up, feel no pains. No, kills one. He's a bud. So Electro Priest hitting that single Custodes. Uh, hitting on threes with full reroll rolls, sorry. You got them all anyway. Yep. And wounding on fours. You've only got one wound left, so you'll probably gank him with a six here. Oh, I do. One six. Does he suck it up? No. <laughs> Very dead. <laughs> Three models left on the entire table. <laughs> Alright, um, to my custodian, into your Yes. Robots. Destroyers. Mm. Hitting on twos. Oof, drop two. What's that toughness? Five? Yep. So wounding on threes, which wounds. Uh, minus three for two damage. Six up and vulnerable. No. Two damage. All right, guys. So a bit of a point summary at the end of my turn three. Uh, so for engage, I'm still holding uh, two points because in three quarters here. Yep. Uh, you don't miss... get the tertiary because you're not holding yeah, more. Yeah, I didn't get the tertiary. Um, I also missed out on uncharted sequencing because I picked that for the uh, third turn. Mm -hmm. But I did actually score my uh, Tempest card, which was to yeah. hold my own objective and ho hold a no man's objective, which is this one over here. So that will net me five points as well. Mm. Uh, Maka doesn't have many models left, so which is cool. Three. You got three models. So I can still get my, oh, I can still so, get my Tempest card, but I'm going to have to be really like, yeah, this is going to be how I run this. This is going to be interesting. So mm. over to Custody's turn three. I get a CP. You, <laughs> as do Hooray. I. Um, all right, and... so I'm currently holding one objective. So I get four. Um, all right, to stand vigil, I need to hold more neutrals than you do. Engage on all fronts, I need to be in three quarters. And my Tempest cards, I need to be behind enemy lines. That's my entire movement phase. <laughs> okay, so. So give us a quick summary, Maka. Um, I fell back, <laughs> I moved, and I have one gun that can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so, while you're standing there. Sure. Let's shoot. Um, so he gets two shots, hitting on twos. They both hit. And winning on fives, which is nothing. Shooting phase <laughs> over. <laughs> Yes, fighting over here with the Vexilla. On twos with a CP reroll. Nice, go for it. Oh, he's dropped one. Yeah. Controversial. I think I'll keep it for the wound. Okay. Um, so T5. strength is four. So T strength is five, top yep. is five. So winning on fours. Mm-hmm. Oh, one. Maka. I use a CP here. Yeah, good call. Nice. Okay. So AP two for one damage. Okay, so five ups. <sighs> yeah. Oh. So it kills one. Does it? No, they don't explode. No. Two. The reason that was useful is custod infantry count as two units. Yes. Models instead of one. So I am holding that objective. Yeah, so I am in one table quarter. And I don't think I'm ever going to get that tertiary again. Stand vigil. I'm not holding more neutrals. So I don't get that. Engage on all fronts. Uh, nope, not yet. My Tempest, however, I did, which is worth five points. Okay, so Admech turn four. Mm, uh, let's move the night line. Uh, we both get a CP. Bing! And a Tempest card. And a Tempest card. All right, guys, so we've drawn Tempest and- uh, Both redrew. We both uh, <laughs> spent our CPs for the turn to redraw. Um, I got no retreat, no surrender. So effectively, I can't fall back, uh, can't fail morale. And I can't leave an objective that I already hold. 
Which is, is everything in your yeah, army but the boat. Which is kind of sucky. <laughs> and I think I will. I think the plan is to kind of keep that card and hopefully score it in my following turns because I still need to reposition some of my units to get them in uh, shooting lanes. Um, so I might keep that one and mm. see how it goes. How'd you go, Maka? Um, I drew a bad one and then drew an also bad one, which is Storm Hostile Objective, which is either steal an objective that my opponent had, <laughs> or if I don't hold an objective, take the one in my opponent's deployment zone, which I currently have, so yeah. I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> On primary, you get eight. Cool. All, All right, right let's go straight into movement. Not a lot of movement. I've just uh, advanced my Dune Rider to get onto this objective. I then um, put my Electro Priest back into the drill and then shifted it over there to sit on the center objective. Mm -hmm. And everything else is basically staying where it's where it's at. Um, the only shooting really is from the Dune Rider, and it's yeah. going to put everything into this uh, Dreadnought down there. Yep. So let's do that. All right. So hitting on fives. With the Dune Rider. And a reroll? Ah, uh, no, it's Skitari. And plus, it's a new battle round. Oh, yeah. so, and fives again. One, One wound. It's good, good. Well, that was a quick shooting phase, and no charges. And we're just going to fight over here. Maka gets to swing first with his Vexilla. My boy. All right. So for it. twos and fours. Ooh. I have no CP, just one. Minus? Two. For one damage. Five. Hey! And then your, what is it, three attacks? Yep. Three attacks back. All oh. hit. All hit. When you're on fours. Hey, here we go. Two. Yep. Uh, two ups. He's good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of the turn. Yeah. So you get two for engage. Yep. Three quarters. Yep. For three quarters. Tempest, you didn't get because no, you fell back off the objective. No, because I moved. And um, my Uncharted is is not uh, is this one over here with your Custodian Guard on the right hand side. Yep. Um, you do get the Tertiary, which is hold more quarters because yep. I'm in one. Start of my round. Yes. I'm on two objectives. That's eight. Yes. Primary points. I have no shooting. Yep. I'm not going to charge. Yep. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. <laughs> so, however, it does mean that I don't get stand vigil because I'm currently holding one neutral objective and you're holding one as well. So I don't get stand vigil. I don't get engaged in all fronts, but I do get my Tempest card. Nice. Because I did steal one from you. Good, so. very good. Yeah, good 15 job. on the Tempest. <laughs> <laughs> um, otherwise, that's literally my entire turn, so. All right, so at mech turn five. Yeah. Um, now remember, everyone not on a terrain feature dies, dies. and you get, a, but you get a point for everyone that's alive at the end. Yeah. All right, guys, so for my uh, Tempest, I have drawn Battlefield Supremacy, which is nice. I have to control more objectives than Maka. Um, well, control three or more, uh, and I have to control more than him. And so... At the end of your turn at the or end the of round? My, at the end of my turn. Oh, great, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, so the plan, uh, Mac has just informed me that, uh, yeah, this is the last turn and spooky monsters will come and eat us all if they're mm. not, uh, <laughs> if they're not on, an obje on uh, some terrain. So, um, and that'll net me a couple of points too. So something to think about there. Um, so I think the plan over here is to just get everyone onto some terrain just to uh, negate this uh, monster eating mm -hmm. and still hold that objective. A bit tough with big vehicles, so that's unfortunately just gonna get eaten, but I'm still holding that objective there, it's scoring me some points. Um, I have some Electro Priests inside this drill. Uh, the plan, I think, is to get the Priests out onto the terrain feature to keep them safe and move this drill just into this other quarter to get me engaged and also put all its guns into this 
uh, guard to um, get him off that objective. Mm. And I think that's all she wrote. Yeah, and you can shoot with your uh, And I can shoot with my uh, plaza plasma destroyer and uh, see how he goes. Mm. Cool. So let's start off with the drill. Five melter shots. I'm going to use Arcane Genetic Alchemy. Okay. <laughs> For one CP. Uh, minus one hit because night time. Yes. So hitting on fours. Mm. Uh, okay. Drop two. Three hits. Nice. Wounding on fours. Ooh, two. Two wounds. Four up involved. <laughs> Kalamaka. <clears throat> CP for other stuff. He makes it. <laughs> oh! Yeah! You still got the flamer though. Still got the flamer. Yep. Three, Three. hits. On fours. One. One. He's not going to die. Two up. He's good. Yeah. Not being. Okay. The Dominus is going to try and get rid of the Custodian Guard there. Uh, she hits on a two. Which goes to a three. Yeah. So two hits. And wounding on... There's uh, the two mortal wounds. wounds. It's two mortal wounds. And a wound. Two wounds, sorry. Okay, well we'll do a saves first. So yep. four ups. Oh. Fails, it's two damage anyway, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, he'll take the two damage from that unless I re-rolled the save because I really don't think he's going to suck up the mortal wounds. Yeah. Very dead. Oh, oh. Let's go into your Dreadnought. Sure. Why not? Minus one hit. Uh, D6 shots. Two. Two. Nice. Uh, fives. Nothing. No. <laughs> uh, that's it. I'm going to spend a CP. Sure. My Dreadnought heroically intervenes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, guys. So with points, uh, at the end of my turn, I've scored three for uh, engage in all fronts. And I've also scored three for the tertiary. I get another three points for uncharted sequencing, mm -hmm. uh, being that backfield objective in Macca's deployment zone. Yep. And I scored my five point Tempest because I yeah, hold uh, three objectives. That was a lucky draw, right? It was a pretty end. lucky draw. Lucky draw. Yeah, yeah. Good old Tempest. Okay. My last turn. Sorry, I did my measurements. I know what I need to do. <laughs> Talk and through it. It all comes down to if I can roll enough on an advance oh, for that Oh, I love this so much. Because the Dreadnought comes round to here and he grabs that objective. Yes. The Vexilla needs a five or a six to get to that objective in the center. Okay. I have a CP. Oh! Six. So, so he what's... moves 13 minus one, which is 12. And then my Dreadnought shoots your Electro Priests. Wisdom of the Ancients to re-roll ones to wound. Does. So, 2d6 hits. I'm wounding you on twos, re-rolling ones. Sure. I got another tray. Nice. Cool. So, seven in Von saves. Seven four up in Vons. Oh, it's pretty good. You drop three. Drop three. Five up, feel no pain. Are these one damage each? Yes. And I need to keep two, right? Yeah, and which one it will be contested? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay. So five ups. Oh, Maka. Nervous. Oh, one dead. Yeah. Oh. However, what's their leadership? Uh, leadership eight, though I can spend my CP. Ah, oh, Acquisition at any cost. Okay, good job. Acquisition. Um, so there's, I Ooh. don't have a gun on that guy. So there's <laughs> nothing I can do with him. So I lose. I one. can't charge you. If you had lost three, I would have <laughs> held the central objective. <laughs> oh, it was worth the try. It was worth the try. Oh gosh. Okay. So, All right, should we come back and uh, tally the points and... Yeah, yeah, so that's... All right, we'll be back in a minute. We're just going to tally the points. It's a draw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> points tallied up. Buzz on primary got 24. Yep. <laughs> Buzz on secondary got 39. Plus three points for one, two, three units standing out in the... Uh, not getting eaten not by the eaten. horde of monsters. 
I got 28 on primary, and I got 35 on secondary. Considering both my things are standing out in the open, I don't <laughs> get any extra points. Yep. So, that puts you on 63, and it puts me on 63. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know who won this day? It, the monsters that got a meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. Oh, uh, what a game. That was good. That was a very, very good game. Mm. Love it. I like tricky low model count games because I'm like, all right, I've got, I've got a thing I can do and if it works, I could win, but oh man. <laughs> I'm actually really loving uh, running this Riser melee yeah. focused list. It's really fun guys. <clears throat> and for any Admech players who uh, are new to, you know, a melee focused uh, Admech list or a Riser list, go and do it. I can uh, do it. It's, it's really fun. It's yeah. really fun. I so. mean, you wound Marines on twos. Yeah. And then you're just like granking out mortal wounds, which yeah. I don't think, did I suck up any mortal wounds that whole no, game? No, I don't think no, so, I don't think yeah. I did. They're really, really good and they're tankier than I expected. Mm. The five up invuln with the five up feel no pain. Yep. Mwah. Yeah, really it's very good. good. It's yeah. very good. No, that was good, mate. It was, um, yeah, it was uh, cagey. It was uh, at the start, you know, you took, you pressed up really yeah. aggressively and just control that middle board like mm. all those robots just got absolutely decimated yeah um and then luckily enough i still had some some of that work with the drill and the electro priest came in and sort mm. of saved the day yeah um i definitely felt the lack of trajan i didn't want to yeah. take him this time because it's like you're custodes you take trajan every time i'm mm. like no, i want to take it this time you kill my warlord turn one <laughs> <laughs> would it work in a 1350 list do you think Trajan. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Like he's he's a powerhouse on his own. He gives you an extra CP. He mm. refunds CPs on five buffs, but it's mostly the rerolls to hit of one and wounds of one. Sure. Because like you guys may have noticed if you're checking the camera, I actually rolled because of the small amount of hits that I was doing. Yeah. I was dropping almost half of them just on hits and wounds. Yeah. Just rolling a couple of ones here and there. Sure. Um, which really cascaded over. So mm. that felt really even, which was great. Yeah, was awesome. I think it so. was really cool, man. And oh, it's just a testament again to uh, the types of games that we like to run here on Legends mm. and Law. You know, we've uh, just just throwing the old temp Tempest card in. I think yeah. the secondary is. I think is, one Tempest card is just kind nice. Of cool, you know, nice. it kind yeah. of like, and it also it gives players um, some hope as well. Like you might be thinking, oh, look, oh my You dude. got it the last round, yeah, you got like, extra five. And it really probably saved me yeah. from drawing the game and not losing it because I think, uh, you know, some, some Tempest cards really fell in my favor there towards mm. the end. So it's kind of cool because, you know, you want to always feel like you're in, the, you're in the game and you've got a chance to, you know, make an impact and win. So yeah, um, it's yeah, very good, mate. Yeah. I love it. Have a play this one at home, see if you like it. Um, maybe mod it up that the darkness eats you, or plus mm. one to hit in the sunlight, or you can do all sorts of things. I really like games that are a little bit theory like that. Yeah. They're fun. So this is, uh, like we mentioned at the uh, at the start of the video, guys, this was one of the ones that we um, that we took from the ARC 40k website. So mm. we went back in the archives to grab one of their old school missions. Do we remember what year this was from? This, I think I got this one from 2008. Wow, 2008. 2008. It's amazing. They've got like a whole archive of results of old school missions. All the missions are downloadable, like yeah. PDF downloads. Um, so you can try them yourself at home. And I think in the lead up to our um, live stream of the ARC 48K event next year in March. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be presenting uh, a few more of sort of uh, old school ARC missions just to uh, get the ARC spirit going for mm. us before that event. The ARC spirit. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And uh, yes, yeah, so and if you haven't heard from our previous video, Yes, we are attending ARC and we are luckily enough uh, going to be live streaming the entire event, two days, all the ARC legends will be there. Yep. Uh, we're gonna be setting up a main stage there, the main table, we're gonna have some other tables around. Really nice terrain, commentary, Commentary, videos. we're gonna be interview interviewing Squidmar yep. and Victoria Lamb and yep. all, all the guys there, all the special guests that uh, are on the show. And it's gonna, it's gonna be, be big. Up. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be, be 200 players. Get a ticket. Yeah, <laughs> get a ticket. So um, yeah, thanks to Dan and the team. Yeah. Putting on some great events, great missions, and I really love this event so much. Yeah. So thanks, Mac. Speaking Mac. of greatness, you guys. <laughs> thanks for coming onto the show. Um, please leave a comment if you enjoyed this, or especially if you think there could be a tweak to the way the main mission went just for ninth, whatever your thoughts are, we'd love to hear in the comments. Mm. Um, so thank you for anyone who gives comments. If you like what you've seen here, 
hit the bell, hit the subscribe. You guys know what to do by now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we want to say some extra special thanks to our Patreons. Um, you guys give us the extra little bit to get things like new terrain and do cool things like that. So thank you to all of you. Also, um, has anyone grabbed Squid Eater? No, not yet. No, okay. no. There's, there's a Land Raider with your name on it if you yes. get one of the higher Patreon tiers. <laughs> um, we also want to thank Gap Games, our affiliate sponsor. Hit the link in the description, get 21% off, help yourself, help the show as well. Um, Game Mat EU for the lovely neoprene mats. Um, please enjoy your gaming. Have a look at the ARC website. Thank you, Buzz, again for the Brad game. Good job, It was mate. great. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, see you guys. Have a good one. Cool. Ciao. Bye.